All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and a pretty exciting day here at the RC Network. Uh, we are unboxing a new vehicle. Uh, this is the Techno RC SCT 410. This is a one-tenth scale short course truck. Now, if you haven't heard of Techno, they've been around for a little while, uh, since 2005. They're based down in San Diego, California probably about 60, 70 miles away from where I live. And I came across them about three, four years ago. I had my one of my first cars was a slash four-wheel drive and constantly just kind of tearing up those uh, front and rear drive shafts. And uh, I picked up a set of the Technos and I installed those and no longer had an issue. Uh, the cool thing about Techno is they build things kind of from the inside out. They first started, you know, doing all the drive shafts that they're famous for, and they kind of started building cars. And that's kind of backwards from a lot of these other manufacturers that build cars and then try and perfect all the issues. Techno has perfected the issue and then made a car. So a uh, pretty cool job with Techno so far. Um, they have came out with their first... 8 skill buggy just a little while ago, that's the EB48, and they decided to go ahead and dive into the short course truck scene, and this is the SCT410. Now you'll notice a lot of the parts are going to be very, very similar, or if not the same, between the two vehicles, so you are getting 8 scale parts on a 10 scale short course truck, which is very cool. I know for a fact so far, uh, just from my research prior to uh, getting a hold of this, uh, the chassis is the same. All three diffs are the same. So um, when, when you start looking at you know getting into different classes, you'll have uh, a fewer parts box if you choose techno. So let's uh, let's go ahead and unbox this. I have not even looked inside yet. Uh, I wanted to wait for you guys. So you guys are the first uh, you know in my small little room here to uh, take a look at this. So let's take a look at the box. I'll throw out some model numbers and. Um, you know, as always in the video description, there's going to be lots of information. There's going to be a direct link to Techno's website. If you have any questions, they have a whole array of uh, different option parts and also the stock parts. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the box and we'll go over some of the key features of this particular sort course truck. So uh, the, the kind of strange thing is this box is, is very, very small. Uh, I happen to have grabbed another box that was very similar to the size of this box so I, I could show you guys because I was kind of startled when I first got it. You'll notice that's a, a men's pair of running shoes and it's almost the same size. So it comes in a little bit larger than a shoebox size. Um, right off, you're, you're questioning, well, where's, where's the body at? Well, this is a race truck. This is a full kit version, and it does not include wheels, tires, or a body. Electronics also, so this is a full kit. <coughs> so let's, uh, let's take a look inside here and see what we get. Let's read some of the box stuff first. And we're going to focus in here a little bit. So 4 millimeter aluminum black anodized chassis, straight center drive line, so you... SCTE owners, you will appreciate that straight center drive line. Uh, four millimeter aluminum shock towers, adjustable length rear arms, which is pretty cool. Uh, extremely easy to work on the minimal screw count. That's always very, very nice. Uh, three fluid filled adjustable, super lightweight diffs. We will see on that one. I, I've uh, experienced the SCTE one, so we will compare those two. Um, super smooth threaded 16 millimeter big bore shocks. Guys, these shocks are huge. I can't even wait to build these shocks. I've always been a huge fan of eight scale sized shocks. Uh, so we will see here. Uh, 16 millimeter, that's pretty much standard on eight scale buggies. Um, light, extremely durable front and rear bumpers. Uh, best in class durability and wear. All metric hex hardware. Applause, please. I, I can't wait to use my Hex hardware again. It's uh, It's been a long time coming. I got my, my MIP drivers right here. I can't wait to uh, get those things moving. Uh, I've been stuck in the 330 seconds and 564s for only so long. So, um, Quick model number for you guys. If you guys are searching online, 
uh, TKR5500, and there's all their barcodes and whatnot. So let's uh, go ahead and cut the factory seals. Look at that. That's a factory seal right there. I got the trusty knife. Yes. And let's go ahead and cut this thing open. It's like one on each side. And as with any kit unboxing, it's not going to be a lot really to look at. So um, I'm going to talk about some other things as we kind of peruse through the kit. Um, it kind of comes in this cool box. This is going to be a great parts box in the end. And we're going to go ahead and flip this thing open. And we'll see inside. Well, it's not very much to look at. It's lots of parts bags and whatnot. And I'm going to go ahead and take out one by one and kind of show you guys what all is included in this kit. Now, kind of a, a funny thing that happened to me at the track yesterday. I was running my MIP SETE, and I saw a guy on the track, and he was running a Techno, actually. I had uh, this truck uh, sitting inside my one-to-one -one scale truck out in the parking lot. And uh, I went up, and I was talking with him for quite a while. And, uh, I mean, his truck was just super dialed and super fast. Could not believe it. So talked with him for a while, looked at his setup and whatnot, uh, but was really impressed um, so far. And, I mean, he was running pretty much bone stock. He had a couple little upgrades. Um, but other than that, it was uh, pretty cool seeing that. And, ironically, I, I was going to start the unboxing and build today. So this is a huge bag. This thing weighs a ton. It looks like everything's sorted out with um, you know different letters of bags, which is pretty cool. Very similar to the Team Associated kit that I just built. You're going to see that long center drive shaft. That's like an 8-inch center drive shaft. Um, the rear diff on this truck is set way back. So uh, front center drive shaft is way long. And you'll see the tiny little dog bone right there. That is the rear center drive shaft. So that thing is, uh, I think it's called a coupler, I believe, that adds on to there to get that back to the rear diff. So you'll see the spur gear right there. It's kind of that um, Delrin type plastic and you'll even see some of the diff parts. So I'm not gonna break this bag open. This is gonna be some fun stuff for me privately later. Um, next huge bag, this is gonna have all the shock parts. We're looking at some of the threaded body aluminum shocks in there. Those things are huge guys. Can't tell you how large those, I mean, look at the springs. They're just monstrous. Um, we've got the, the battery tray right there and the side kind of nerf piece and bits and pieces of the radio box and whatnot. So um, next thing, a uh, whole assortment of diff fluids and looks like some thread locker and some diff grease. It looks like you got 3,000. We got some 5,000, 7,000. And it looks like 350 and 450 for shock oils. Thread lock and black grease right there. Look at that, all labeled, all nice and neat. Pretty cool. Uh, one of the last big parts in here is the chassis. Uh, this is the stock black anodized chassis. I believe they do offer a lightened one that comes kind of a gold color. And the chassis is just super thin. It's almost like eight skill buggy-ish. So definitely thinner than the uh, SETE um, by far, but it comes stock with all of these kind of CNC'd, uh, um, where they've tried to save a little bit of weight there, which is pretty cool on either side of the diffs and everything. You got the little uh, deals right there to uh, adjust your droop settings, looks like. So all in all, very nice chassis. Looks like an upgraded chassis right out of the box. Um, last thing in here is the instructions. Um, so it looks like it has like kind of a look of a, like a binder look right there. So pretty cool. And on the back side, it looks like there's some stickers in there. I can't quite see it. So, um, but that is the SCT 410. I got some, uh, building to do as always with the RC network. You're not going to get a full build series because that's kind of boring and there's already those out there, but I'm going to give you guys some build updates. There's probably going to be about between six and eight build updates on this particular truck and I cannot wait to run this thing. There's going to be some pretty exciting new electronics that are going to be going in this truck. I have some uh, other parts and whatnot that are going to be uh, coming in the mail, hopefully, here at the RC Network, and we'll go from there. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this choice of a new RC. And as always, if you have any questions, please throw it on down below. And thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, that's it for now, guys. Over and out.